Hmm. I can't help but wonder. Must it be a fire eater who performs? What if, instead, there was, oh, I don't know, a juggler? Just where would we find a juggler at this hour? But say you did. Would that do as a replacement for the fire sniffler? Well, I suppose it might. Then I shall perform. You? First I've heard of a juggling witcher. Today I'm no ordinary witcher. In my youth I had a great many friends among circus folk. They taught me well. I shall gladly save you from your troubles. If that's the case, I'll announce the performance. Witcher contract didn't turn out as I'd hoped, and I still I'll wager none here has ever seen a juggling Witcher. Gather round, all, to behold a great wonder: a juggling Witcher, the one and only. Look carefully, Shani. Ever seen such deft hands? I would love to show you what else they can do. So, Shani. Was it to your liking? It was positively fun. Look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. Nor need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a Midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
You lose the chap. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win. Give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everak a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everak. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster until we expire. <laughs> Treat for our special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, a perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though not to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. I'm not sure I do. Mind? I have. 
my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? What do you mean, hands to myself? That'd be no fun at all. Besides, I thought you two would enjoy it. Oh, I like to kiss. And get kissed. But mostly with one person at a time. And there's two of you in there. I yet only one did what set your heart aflame. Me. <sighs> Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me... Angry? But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Whoa! Hold there, mate! You said you weren't interested back in the crypt. Now suddenly, after I've beat the cream all night, you swoop in to dip your berry! And aim to delight in it without me present? Shut up. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Dim. Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah. He didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of boulder dash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. You seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like him.
rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Allgeard ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Allgeard learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She is here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale invitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgear told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgear visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well. Perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All oh, lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Olgeard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. What a wonderful wedding. Fortune. It's clear the newlywed's parents spared no expense. Health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never cool. May they sire many up there and reap gods a calling. You, oh. what do you want? If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Nimble as a leopard. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. There's somebody coming. By the way you move, what charm, what grace. Thanks. Look at the fools falling over themselves to catch a painting. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, piggies. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shani? One big pen. Feel foolish, peasants? Learned a lesson from your better? 
Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Whoa, Master Witcher. What were the trickery back there, the fancy finger twisted? I know. Seen that afore. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Meaning you cheated and shan't be crowned king of the swineherds. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. Now for what I say. Go shove rakes up your asses, you peasant curs. Do I look anything like a swineherd? Come, Shani. I've had enough of these hay seeds. Forgive me, Shani. I've let you down. Are you worried about that pig? Oh, you needn't be. We're here as a couple. I wanted to win you that... that thing. Oh, really? It's unimportant. Nothing at all. Hmm. Tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl. That's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Destry. Step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally. We would speak, but first we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! <laughs> Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Fence boards. 
The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swan nerds. Perfect fit for your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? Damned cretin creamed me. You had it nursing to take a licking from the boar. Not yourself a match for a von ever a, a witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack and yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Geralt, you must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen. Tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <sighs> your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. Ah, <sighs> fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. <clears throat> ah, so good to shake the kings from one's bones. We must find more found more yourself fun. a perch from which to survey passing bows. So long. Bring me... People from the water? An old pot? Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule. They give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. Oh, my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Just when you think you know all the plow folks' customs, they surprise you, you with want, slippers. Girl? Yes?
that pond sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. There's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You still shite all to talk about. But I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance, what dreams make young blood run. Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple and give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bed with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind a song? We don't sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Bright's one love eternal, bright and best beware. Or she'll make you a call gold in the coming year. What's the groom a thing in a storm upon his brow? Must be second guessing if you get that cow. Lad the bull, the calf, the hay. So drink and be merry. Tis your wedding day. Oh, whoever caught the gallop shall be next to wed.
that really necessary? It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. Their hair swirling freely. Their bodices undone. They're bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. 
Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun.